There's a new paint guys, Microsoft has finally released a completely redesigned from scratch version of MS Paint. Yes, the legendary MS Paint has been updated with all new features and features that have been removed since the existing version of Paint or the old Paint as you would call it. And finally, a feature that has made a huge comeback from the days of Windows 98 and XP. All coming up. You're watching Nazmus Labs, where we talk about technology, gaming, rapid transit, education, and a lot more. So if you like the content, make sure to hit the like button. And to be notified of new videos as soon as they come out, make sure to click that subscribe button. Alright guys, let's get started. Let's talk about the completely new version of MS Paint. One of the options is old paint, and there's also a new paint here. And there you go, the new paint launches really quickly, it's really fast. And we have a welcome screen, Paint Sprint 1604, April April of 2016, dash two. Um, I think it's second half of April. Correct me if I'm wrong, if anyone, there's Microsoft employees out there. But yeah, so this is the welcome screen. Uh, we, let's see what we have new here. New 3D view, community integration, and new lighting and UI. So there you go, we could see the new UI already. So I'm gonna, we could open a document or we could create a new document. Let's do a new document. So let's see what he got here. Uh, let's maximize this paint. So we have a button on the top left. That's the file menu. We have new, open, import 3D model. Oh, export 3D model. So you could actually import real 3D models and export it to CAD software. That's awesome. Uh, save, save as. Yeah, this opens the normal open save dialog box. Um, print, share, feedback, and about. If you go up, oh, I like how the an window opens in a nice animation. 0 0.820.13407.0. Okay, there you go. That's a mouthful. But anyway, so let's see how it works. This this option is selected by default. The tools menu. We have selection. We have. Uh, oh, the paint crashed. <laughs> I guess we don't click that option yet. Yeah, that that means all right. Stay away from it. Okay, God, God. It is it is an unreleased leaked version. So I'm guessing that's to resize the canvas, brushes and text tool, shapes, 3D shapes and community hub. Okay, so what do you got here, guys? So we have first this default selection is the graphite pencil, pencil, marker pen. Pixel Pencil, this is the huge tool that I'm very excited about. Oil Brush, Graphite Pen, Calligraphy Pencil, or, or yeah, Graphite Pencil, sorry, Calligraphy, <laughs> I said Graphite Pen, no, Calligraphy Pen, Graphite Pencil, uh, Spray Can, Eraser, and Fill Bucket. So there's a marker here. I could draw it, it's very smooth. It is amazingly smooth and high performance. I was worried that the one thing I liked about the old paint is that it was very fast. It opened instantly, you could do a really quick drawing or you could make a quick edit. And I was worried that with the all new redesigned version of paint from scratch, it would be slow to load like some other Windows, universal Windows apps. Fortunately, this paint is very, very, very amazingly smooth actually. It works fine. I mean, it's perfect. Okay. So we have this uh, marker tool. It's an anti alias tool. So if I zoom in here, you could see the edges are smoothed. If I if I make a circle, and if I try to fill it with a fill bucket, you could see some jagged edges, and that is definitely not cool because anti-alias is does some trickery to make the edges look smooth, and, and it, by doing that, it has different. Co it uses colors other than the one you selected, so fill bucket doesn't work. But thankfully, this feature, pixel pencil, this is a feature that I haven't. I miss so much from the days of the old paint back in Windows Vista XP and 98 and this this pencil is just like the marker tool however it is a non anti alias version so if I do a drawing like this if I if I zoom in you could see the jagged ed edges and the benefit of that is now you could actually fill it up like this that's awesome now you might a lot of people do a lot of pixel art and using pixels to draw beautiful artwork. There, there's lots of great YouTube, YouTube videos about it. Definitely check them out. But that's one of the features that I was missing from the Windows 7 version of Paint. So this is Paint from Windows 7. So this is the brush tool. And it looks normal, but it's also anti-alias. So if I try to fill it up, you can see the jagged edges. So there you go. 
and there is no equivalent. There is a pixel pencil. There's a pixel pencil, but it doesn't go. Th it doesn't have high, thick borders. The thickest border you could make here is this, and that is not thick enough, and it doesn't look as good either. So you have the brush, you know, the brush strokes, realistic brush strokes, and as I move my mouse at different angles, the thickness uh, changes. Now let's talk about the creative tool. They're, they have calligraphy tool 1 and calligraphy tool 2. So calligraphy tool 1 will have a thin on one angle, like this angle, going right, but thick on this angle, and it'll always be like that. But in real life, calligraphy pens don't work like that. Tool number 2 have thick angles in this way, thin angles on that way. Uh, but the calligraphy pen here is much more intelligent. The mouse cursor changes to a calligraphy pen. If I draw, it'll determine how I'm moving my pen or how fast I'm moving it to uh, create thickness. That's amazing. So if I write, you know, less, for example, but yeah, or Nasmus. Nas, but yeah, you know, you know, I'm, you know what I'm saying. So there you go. Calligraphy pen looks and works much better. And we have this graphite pen pencil. That's that that's nice. So that's if you want to some, you know, crayon like or graphite like or pastel like look. This option is, I believe, this pencil. Uh, again, nope, that's marker. Um, this pencil. Yeah, there's the graphite pencil here. They call it natural pencil on um, on the, the old paint. And we have this spray paint. So this is different than the air uh, spray can from the old paint. But a good thing is you can change the opacity. So you could have a you know really light spray can. But yeah, it looks very ghostly, doesn't it? Uh, but yeah, ghastly effects. But you could change the size. You could have a small spray can. But yeah, it's it's more uh, realistic. It's more anti-alias than the very uh, crude spray paint from the old paint. This spray paint tool has been unchanged since the one of the earliest version of paint from Windows 9X. So it's just very pixelated dot. That's all it is. It doesn't have any more anti-aliasing. And some people might prefer it, but I don't see the point of the spray paint not as much. But maybe yeah, maybe let me know if you find the if you if you prefer the old spray paint. Whoops. Okay. Alright. So there's the spray paint and there's of course the eraser. So if I I don't know if I do this right there and I could race. Whoa, the size of the racers is huge. Okay. But yeah, there you go. The racer. It's gone. Awesome. And finally, we talked about the fill bucket. There you go. They have some other colors, uh, uh, sorry, other colors, other tools in the old paint that I don't see in this paint. Oh, there I do. So never mind. Uh, color picker. So. If you see a color that's not on your palette but on the image, if I have if I have red selected, but if I use the color picker to pick the color on this image, I get the exact color on this image. So there you go. They have the color picker here as well. So if I change color to let's say orange, use the color picker tool and no, 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 don't want that. I can't seem to click this tool, so maybe I'm doing it wrong, but I don't know. Another feature is a zoom feature. They have the magnifier glass. New paint also has a slider. But it's more smooth slider. It's the zoom is much better. So you could use, and you could use the control and scroll wheel to zoom at any corner. So if your mouse is here, it'll zoom here. If your mouse is there, it'll zoom there. On the old paint, regardless of where your center, where your mouse is, it'll always zoom with with the point being center point being the top right corner, which is not useful. Yeah, to actually zoom at your mouse point, you have to use the zoom tool and click. That's how you do it. Okay, all right. So right click to zoom out. Everything so far looks great. I do have some issues with this new paint and I'll talk about that right now. There are some very important features um, that I missed that, that has been removed. If I use a shift key, you can see I'm forced, it, it creates a virtual ruler. I'm forced to um, do this straight line with the shift key. I could, uh, I'm forced to do a vertical line. So. It's 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 sometimes really useful to you know without having to change tools without having to change the line tool to be able to draw a straight line with a while you're drawing and you could just draw a straight line like that while you're drawing you could draw a straight line vertically or if if you're drawing and going this way and straight line this way okay so you know it's it's nice I mean it's 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 a feature that doesn't work so if I go here 
If I try to draw this, I press shift, nothing happens. All right, let's talk about another feature here. Let's talk about selection. So let, let me draw a bow tie, okay? That's infinity symbol. Let, let me draw an infinity symbol, why not? With this infinity, that's a bad infinity symbol. Let me try this again. All right, okay, there you go. So with this selection tool, watch what I can do. I could move this around like you, like you, like you would expect. Now, one of the options are is that I could have transparent selection. So this means that when I move this around onto other objects, the color I have on the color two palette right there will not be part of the selection. So let let me t show you what I mean. So if I have another drawing here, so you know if I have an orange circle and let's say I don't have the transparency checked so if I drag this if I want to drag put put a bow tie on this orange circle no the, the white selection around the bow tie is ruined so I, would, I could choose this transparency option and then I could drag this and you could see I could put the bow tie on the selection tool that doesn't work and there's some other things that doesn't work so Another awesome feature of the old paint is that you could use control click and create duplicates of the item right there. It's awesome without having to copy paste. And also you could create custom brush strokes. So if I use the shift key and move, I could draw with the items with with the type of th uh, with the, with the drawing I made. So I could have a you know custom brush stroke. Uh uh it's orange, right? So if even if you're I don't like orange. How about purple? How about this purple? Yeah. So even if your paint, uh, like even if your background was purple, you could still do this transparent thing. All you have to do is click on your color too. Use the color picker to to pick the color you want to make transparent, or click it from the palette. Right click to make it to put it on color two, and then use the select tool. Select the item, and then again it's transparent so this is a really useful feature this feature unfortunately isn't there so if I do this here right let's draw a green circle that's a nice feature I could like make it smaller that's good so yeah um, see there you go that's the problem I can't you know do the transparent selection very this needs to be fixed immediately actually I cannot do that or nor can I use control drag to duplicate function or shift um, but yeah so that's a huge 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 point the only new feature I see with the selection tool is r manual rotation that's it's very fast and it's very smooth but uh, it doesn't have it does have no rotate rotate 90 degrees and flip horizontal fit vertical those options are there on the old paint as well it has some nice text options, so Nasmus Labs. You could choose your colors, or you could font your font. It also has the font size and font colors. There you go. You could add more colors, and that's it. What's that? Or you could choose background color. Okay. You could have a highlight color, basically, for the selection. So it's 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 it's, it's good that way. You could have rotated text. That's 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 something that's good could have you know more increase your text size text box but yeah there you go Nasmus Labs that's 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 kind of nice text tool is less sophisticated here so Nasmus Labs I could make it bigger but yeah it, it, there you go I can't rotate text or anything so that that's that that's a that's a negative but I could make it transparent or oblique so you know just same option right there or sorry, opaque, not oblique. In this paint, one of the awesome features that has been around since Windows 98 or 95, that if I'm drawing, so, oh, if I'm drawing something, and I wanna, I I I I make a mistake, I could right click and undo this action immediately. So it's like when I'm drawing something, right click, drawing something, right click, drawing something, right click. Another thing is you could have two colors at the same time. So I have red, let's say red, orange, and black. So I could draw this, right click and draw this, ref could draw this. Left. So I could, for any tool I have two colors. I could have this color, this color, this color, this color. So 
so you know like very very useful very useful but that option is gone I only have one color option here but I do like the new add new color option right there you could see very nicely designed I could I, I don't know I could add this green we added this green or you could add this purple right so this uh, this color palette is good but I don't know how to can I change this color no I can't it just keeps adding so what if I add like 20 more colors here I can't add any more colors that is a really big problem so I could add color I could pick it I could add colors here as well I have more granular options it's an old dialog box but it still has granular options here um, you know I could replace this color you know so like that and I could pick this color put it here you know and replace the colors I could replace this with this I think or no I can't I don't know um, it's very interesting how this works so yeah it keeps adding more and more so what if I have like what if I keep adding colors So at the end it just replaces oh oh it just scrolls and you lose the first one so that that that's very nice can't do that here that's uh you have less color palettes to add custom colors to and once you fill it up you're screwed so there you go also another nice feature is uh, unfortunately the undo is gone but this old paint has only 50 maximum undos and I think this new paint has a lot more undos but another thing nice thing about that is you could actually have a history option. So you could slide your way back to the beginning of e do everything, undo everything you did, right? You could do everything. So there you go. Very, very nice. You could step by step back one one at a time, or step forward. But yeah, I I tried. I was able to get a lot of undos. I don't know if I got more than fifty, but it's a good way to check. There's also some shape features here. I could do some two D, two D. I could do some two D shapes. So I could do create a shape here, a circle. I could uh, do a box. We could do a box like this. Or I could do a 3D shape. So I could create a shape that looks like this. A donut. And I could move this around. We. I could move it this way. And I could rotate it. And I could go back and select any of the 3D shapes I created. You can apparently also paint on the shapes, but I haven't figured out how to do this. I do switch from the 3D canvas to 2D canvas, but can't seem to find a way to do this. All the drawing goes behind my shapes, so I still have to figure this out. Well, if I do figure this out, I'll let you guys know how to do that. The community section will also be f uh, accessible when paint gets released. I can't access it because, you know, it's I'm running a unreleased version of it. But this basically lets you share your creations or create stickers and other people can you know share theirs and you could use their creations and your creations it's an awesome way to you know bring the paint community together but yeah there you go this is the comparison of the new version of paint 2d tools with three uh, versus the old paint so there you go that's that's comparing the new paint with the old paint you're watching Nasmus labs where we talk about technology gaming rapid transit, education, and a lot more. So if you like this content, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to be notified of all new videos as soon as they're available.